Hey guys, it's Brittany from The Budget Simple and today I'm here to close out my May budget. So this is my first time filming a closing out my budget video. Um, when I did it for April, I didn't film it because it was my first time doing it and I didn't know if it was gonna go right or if it was gonna go wrong or what was gonna happen. So today I'm going to do my May budget and hopefully it goes all to plan. I am not sure how this is gonna go. So let's uh, get into it. So first off, these templates are on my Etsy, so you can get them to do yours or you could do something similar or just write it on a piece of paper, whatever works for you. But up at the top, I have my income. So I have my starting balance, my incoming income for the month, and then that total is my whole monthly income. So starting balance, I had some money just in my checking account on May 1st, so I've got to count that because it's got to go somewhere. Incoming income is not just my paychecks, but if I did any like returns and got money back or any um, cash I used for my sinking funds that I deposited back into my account to cover expenses or money my boyfriend gave me to help cover bills too. So any influx of money into my account during May is counted into that besides the starting balance, of course. So you add those two together and this is the total amount of money that I had coming into my account in May. So that's not fully my paychecks, it's everything. So I can see I started off, I already did this off camera, but I did my expense trackers all throughout the month, which is where I'm getting all these numbers. So if you wanna do this, this is how you need to like track your whole month to be able to properly do it. I'm still learning and getting in the groove of how I'm doing this, so it's not perfect for me yet, but what I do is I just go through my bank account about once a week or more, depending on how much I'm spending, and I just write everything down, um, what account it's out of, and then I pick a color for each different category. So down here, which these numbers might be wrong because I need to add these last two in here, so ignore that for the, for the second, but I have my categories. So I have the different colors and what they are, this is where I'm still kind of learning is my different categories and how I'm tracking each thing. So I think starting in June, I'm gonna track all of my cash separate from my bank accounts. I think that's where I'm getting really mixed up is I still use credit cards and I still use cash. So I'm like a half cash spender, half card spender. So it's kind of like hard trying to find that medium of where to track everything. So. So this is where I got like my total for my income. I have like anything in green. So I have paychecks, a target return, money from my boyfriend. Let's see, uh, more sinking fund stuff that I use, a paycheck, starting balance. So that's where I got those numbers from. So let's see, the first category I'm going to look at is my grocery spending. So I have a, let's see, this might be quicker if I do it this way. I have a monthly paycheck tracker that I do at the beginning of the month where I list all my bills. That's mainly what I use this for. Um, I actually kind of like forgot about these sections. So I have my groceries down here and at the beginning of the month, I try to create a budget of how much throughout the whole month I wanna spend. So I can kind of go by that week to week. Oh, there's cat hair everywhere. So I had 120 is what I wanted to spend. That's $30 a week. So I have 173 here. See, this is where this is gonna get kind of messy because I went through each week's paycheck budget and got what I budgeted. So my total amount spent, I'm gonna put, hold on, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put 120 slash 173 because in the beginning of the month, I wanted 120, but week to week adding that up, I had 173 budgeted. And to see what I spent monthly, so 89.83 is what I have here, and that's um, the groceries that I bought using my cards. So I know for cash and groceries, so we're gonna use our calculator app. <laughs> Thank you. 
Y'all, I need to buy myself a calculator because this is making this like 10 times more difficult. Let's see, so that gives me 229.83. I don't think that's correct. I think that's way too much. So I think that last 60 was not what I spent. This is where I messed up tracking, so I didn't fully track all of my groceries for this month. So we're just gonna say I spent around $200 in groceries this month, because that does sound about right. Because I know I spent more than $173. So this is just a good guesstimate. Eating out, eating out, I had budgeted $40. So let's see, I know I tracked all that, because I always use a card. Eating out, I spent a whopping $81.81. So, Eighty-one, eighty-one. Anyway, I'm gonna move this to right here. So I spent eighty-one, eighty-one eating out bills. I had budgeted three thirty-one. Let's go here. Bills. I had seven fifty-two nineteen. So let's write that down. 752.19, which this 331 was not including my school payment, which was 351, which is why it made it that much more. So I know I had $230 set aside for school. And so I'm going to add that to my budget because I had that set aside. So 331. 331 plus I had 230 already set aside so I actually budgeted for 561 of bills and I spent 752.19 pets I had budgeted $45 and I spent 45.46 so I'm just gonna put 45 we're not gonna worry about the change on that one I think starting in June too, I'm gonna round up everything. So it's just gonna be an even number and no change. So this will probably be a lot easier um, once I start doing that. Sinking funds. So if I go to here, this is what I wanted to save for the whole month for my sinking funds, which the total of that is what I wrote here, 1464, so $1,464. So I budgeted that much. Let me see how much I actually saved in my sinking funds. So I need to add it up week to week. Or I need to subtract my latest from what it was at the end of April. So let me do that and I'm gonna speed that up because it might take me a while. So three. So at the end of April, this is my last week of April, I had saved $3,637 in my sinking funds total. So we're gonna take that number, 3637, that 36 37 and we're gonna go to my most recent paycheck stuffing here for the last full week of May because I do mine every four weeks even though like the last day of May is gonna be I still have two more days of May after this that's just gonna be counted into June just the way I do it makes it a lot easier so I had four thousand four hundred and seventy three so forty four seventy three 4473 so that gives me a difference of 836 so I only saved 836 throughout the month of May let's see let's go back here 836 so the difference is here is because I've spent money throughout May of my sinking funds. So I spent like the $230 for um, my school. I know I spent the $45 for the cat food. I know I've spent money out of my sinking funds. So even though if I went through each week and added up how much I saved, then it would come to a larger number, like what I actually saved and add that up every week, it would be a lot more, but I also spent money, so it subtracts from it. So that's why, so that's why it's different. 
So actually, if we did this, 385. So if I add up what I actually stuffed in my sinking funds every week, it's 1235. So I still didn't hit that goal quite what I wanted to, but that's okay. I had some unexpected spending. I will see that in my next uh, category here, extra with the frowny face. I spent a lot of extra money that wasn't budgeted for. So my total amount actually saved is 836. But I'm gonna write that 12, um, that 12 number here. So 836 slash, I actually stuffed 1235. So I'll keep that there just as reference, just so I know how much I actually stuffed. Now, extra spending. Throughout my expense tracker, everything in pink was extra spending that was not budgeted for. So, adding all that up i need to add this last one down there in that pink so extra 385.59 let me go through and add this up again because i put a question mark because i think i messed it up so let me add it all up So I actually, an extra spending that was not budgeted for, I spent $444.44, which is insane because four is my lucky number. So that's weird, not good, but like good. So we're gonna go back here and put 445. So that is a lot of extra spending for the month of May. <laughs> I will definitely get better with it for this next month and hopefully the next months to come because I will not be having as much of an income. So I'm really going to be a lot tighter on my budget. I'm not gonna be able to spend as much extra money as I did this month. Um, quitting my job was a lot more like emotional for me than I realized. And I really, I feel like used spending and like eating out as a crutch. And so I think that's where a lot of that money came from. Also, there's a couple returns that still need to be made, so I'm not even counting that. So it's technically going to be less than that, but the returns are going to be made in June. So that's going to be reflected in the June budget. So I can't really technically count it. So what we're going to do now is figure out the difference and what percentage of my income did I spend or save that amount of money. So first for groceries, I spent 200. We're going to say it's 200 and my budget was 173. So that's $27 difference. So I added plus $27. Here, eating out, I budgeted 40. I actually spent 81.81. So that's gonna be, I spent plus 41.81. Bills, I budgeted 561, but I spent 752. So we're gonna go here, 561 minus 752.19. So it's 191.19, 191.19. Cats, difference was zero. Sinking funds, I budgeted 14.64. 1464 minus I only saved 836. So that's 628. And then extra obviously is just this full 445. 
So right now for my sinking funds, I'm just thinking, should I use the 1235 or the 836? And so I'm right now I'm thinking I should use the 1235, not the 836, because the money that I deposited to cover expenses, so the money I spent out of my sinking funds is counted as my income. So it's already being counted. So if I use the 836, that's gonna be basically counting it twice, I think. So I think I'm actually gonna change this. I think I'm gonna use the 1235 instead of the 836. So let me change that and maybe in the comments, tell me what you think I should do because I could always go back and change it. But I think I'm gonna use the 1235. So 1464 minus 1235. So that's only 229 difference. So it's gonna make a big difference in my numbers. 229. So the percentage of my income, I'm going to see how much that was. So $200. Two hundred divided by. We're just gonna do two seven zero oh, eight. Two seven zero oh, eight. So that's seven percent of my income spent on groceries. Seven percent. We do eighty one eighty one. Eighty one eighty one divided by two seven zero oh, eight. That's 3% of my income. 752 divided by 2708. That's 28%. So $45. 45 over 2708 is 2%. We're gonna do the 12.35 divided by 2708, 46%. And 4.45 divided by 2708 is 16%. Okay, so let's add up these percents, see if we can, if I got close to 100. So that's 10, that's 38, 40, 86, 96. So that's 102%, I think. I just did that really quickly, but that's one or two percent so I'm over two percent so that means I'm off a little bit so let's add up what I spent 200 200 plus 81.81 plus 752.19 plus 45 plus 112.38 4400 So this is saying that I spent 2759 2759 is what if you add up what I spent and you can see my income was only 2708 so that's probably something to do with the sinking funds category and the groceries category since I didn't track it as well as I should have so it's gonna be, it's off a little bit. I'm off by like 40 bucks, like $42, I think. Off by $42. So that's okay. I'm only off by 42, which I wish it was not that much. I wish it was a zero and it worked out perfectly. Hopefully I can get June's budget to work out like this. So that's all I'm going to do to close out my budget. So I encourage you guys to do this. It's really nice seeing exactly where all your dollars went and what percentage of your income is where your money's going. So I can see 46% of my income still went to savings. So all my different sinking funds. So that's still really good. I'd like for it to be 50% or over 50%, but that's still really close and I'm really happy for that. Um, the next largest was my bills, which of course that's normal. 
um, and my bills were actually a lot more than they typically are because of that school payment, which I won't have to pay anymore actually because I got more from FAFSA than I normally do. So um, that's cool. I'm not gonna have to make a school payment for the next year. So I will be able to eliminate that budgeting category. So that actually in reality is usually a lot less. Eating out was 3%, which seeing that I spent $81, it's like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. But seeing that it's only 3% of my income makes me feel a little bit better, but I still would love to get my eating out down a lot. And groceries, I need to track that better, but that's still a decent amount to spend. I'd love for it to be less. Of course, I'd always love for it to be less. So um, I'll be working on that for June. And then my extra spending is gonna seriously be down in June. So I'm saying it now, when I'm closing out my June budget, it better be a lot less than 4.45. I'm really disappointed with myself at how much I actually spent. So again, these templates are gonna be on my Etsy so you could uh, do the same thing. I also will um, have the expense trackers templates on there too so you can track all your expenses. So thank you guys for watching and seeing how I did this month with my budget. And I encourage you guys to do the same. It's been really uh, rewarding and very informative for me to do this now and then know what I need to change for June. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope y'all have a great month of June and I will see y'all next week with another paycheck budgeting video. So I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.